welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, um, Act 2 of Sandopolis Zone takes place inside the temple with an annoying addition. Well, two actually. Firstly, these giant uh, weights that you have to push in order to open various doors. And yeah, apparently Sonic thinks he's uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, I can't really see Lara Croft because he's not a woman, is he? Uh, so yeah. And yeah, apparently I restarted this one. For good reason. Um, the other thing that comes up within this um, thing is kind of annoying, if you know what I mean. And what is that other thing I speak of? Well, you're about to find out here. I opened that canister there and it released some ghosts. And these ghosts are very annoying because um, as soon as time passes, they will grow larger and larger and eventually the lights will go out and they'll become much more ferocious in terms of um, how they behave. So yeah, I do not like the ghosts in Sandopolis Act 2 therefore. The only way to actually get rid of them um, is to actually um, pull one of the light switches here. And they are, um, well, few and far between in terms of the thing. You can see um, that they are starting to grow bigger, the lights are starting to dim here. So yes, the lights, are, they are afraid of the lights. Kind of like the booze from the Mario games. Certainly if you're thinking of something like Super Mario Galaxy at least. Um, where they were actually afraid of the light. And, and also Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion as well. So yeah, um, but... This bit is really annoying with the um, stone block because it is so set up that you have to actually push this way to the right so the door starts to open and you don't want to waste any time. Seriously. Um, to the point where I actually went back to the way just to actually uh, push it forward so I wouldn't um, waste any time trying to spin dash. Seriously. And keep in mind, one of the switches is located on the way while the block is moving. And no, I could not have done a double jump with the uh, electric shield. No, I could not. And keep in, also keep in mind, you only have 10 minutes in uh, this game to get to the end of the stage. Making it like, um, dare I say it, Carnival Night Act 2. Seriously. In Carnival Night Act 2, um, if I hadn't gone supersonic there, um, I, um, it probably would have taken me at least five, six, seven minutes uh, to get to, to Robotnik and to destroy his Eggmobile in that stage. This one is even harder, seriously, because of the ghosts and the switches. So yeah, and of course the door pushing mechanic. That Scorps there is so annoyingly placed that he can actually knock you back and, and you'll have to try and push the door open all over again. Seriously, it is that annoying is Act 2. Uh, so yeah. I don't know why I'm saving me Maybe because I don't want to use uh, Hypersonic? I still haven't done that just yet because of my um, uh, aversion to um, not double jumping and everything. Seriously, because of, of course you have more control. I already mentioned that in this let's play. Uh, do I want the bubble shield? Well, I've got it anyway. Fire shield isn't going to do much here. So electric shield it shall be. Seriously. I mean, I do like the gumball machine anyway. Uh, so I want to wait till that comes down. And I'll go over it. Yeah, that works. And let's go to the right. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm skipping a, a switch there, but I might as well show what the ghosties do when they start coming for you, literally. At the moment, they're just being rather chill at the moment because of the light, but oh boy, when the lights go out, they grow horns, and eventually they'll start charging at you, and they can actually damage you, can the ghosts. Seriously. Yeah. So that being said, I'm going to push the weight to the right, and then, yeah, they started growing horns. Um, I, 
I could say they're undead demons, but no, they'd be much bigger. Um, so instead, there's really some power sneakers over there. I'm not going to try and go for them, to be honest, because I don't need the extra speed boost. I need to get the hell out of here. Seriously. And in order to do that, we'll need to push this as far to the right as possible before the sand gets us. And yes, I've kind of overlooked that. There are some canisters within the stage that unleash the a huge uh, pile of sand, which does not stop until um, you get to a certain point. But yeah, I, that's the only thing I can think of. The point being right here with the swinging platform. So yeah. And do I want to go hypersonic? I might do if I'm in, ever in peril here. So let's see. Yeah, that one closes very quickly. Okay, so we now have hypersonic. And Hypersonic is interesting because he has he, um, he has a jump dash. And yeah, if you remember in um, Sonic Adventure, Sonic did have the homing attack. This isn't the first game to have the homing attack, I'd I, I dare say the next and also last game on the Sega Mega Drive. Or Sonic game, should I say, on the Sega Mega Drive, Sonic 3D Blast, uh, actually really introduced um, the homing attack, but uh, yeah, he does have a jump dash, and it isn't too bad, it is nice for a bit of speed in midair, certainly for um, more speed based stages, and there are still a few left in uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, but I'll get to that, so yeah, and Uh, but never mind that for now. Uh, I am just going to get up here and um, completely miss. Yay! Yay! I suck! Yeah, if there's anything I do anno find annoying about the uh, glowing spheres, it is the fact they don't always throw you up. Momentum be a killer here. Seriously. An absolute killer. So that being said, let us go on to, um, back, sorry, to Sandopolis Act 2. And we are not done, because at the end of this slide comes a really annoying segment, as we will see, because um, over here, well, the ghosts are still annoying me. Um, and now I want to go to the right, and the uh, stupid block. Thankfully, uh, yeah. And yes, those uh, blocks are on top of there. Can be broken by Knuckles. It isn't a problem for him. Um, no. Uh, we'll get to Knuckles after I've, I've finished Sonic's playthrough, of course. So, uh, get up here and... And jump over there. That being said, let's go over here to the right. Spin dash, and down we go. And what's over there? Okay, well, I'm going to save over here and do that, because, yeah, I think I will keep the uh, bonus stages in, just because they're rather short. Although, do I get three Eggmen here? Nope, um, none at all. Uh, I'm getting a little continue, but I don't really need any more continues in my pocket, if you know what I mean. So instead, let's just get out of here and um, get to the next part, which is, of course, um, this bit. Um, this weight will close the door very quickly. Uh, now, with Knuckles, well, we'll get to that. Apparently I did do it after all. Anyway, that being said, this boss, um, I have six minutes, so I have like, I think, four minutes to destroy it. Um, were it not for the, uh, um, electric shield, I think it would be a, quite a bit harder because of all the spikes, but basically you have to attack his head and do that, seriously. With Hypersonic, he's a joke, seriously. But with Normal Sonic, you you will have to uh, blow away the spikes, then hit him. Uh, the, I think you can only hit him like two or three times if you bounce on his head, so yeah. <laughs> but that's the boss. Anyway, now we will go to Lava Reef Zone, which um, apparently decided to uh, borrow for once not from... Well, unless the song sounds like Dirty Diana from the um, 
thing, which Brad Bugsa did not produce, that was Quincy Jones from the album Bad. And yes, I do have that album. Um, but I don't think so. Um, unless it's based off of like an existing one. So yeah, no, uh, this, uh, uh, I do like the music for um, uh, Lava Reef Act 1, which is weird because Lava Reef Act 2 is very different to this. But this I do like. Um, just be careful of the lava and the exploding um, rocks, I guess? I don't know, they might be bad nicks. Anyway, that being said, head to the right, get some more things there. I don't want to go to the thing. The fire shield is a must, however, for um, Lava Reef because, um, well, uh, spin dashing, firstly, but also um, getting over quite a few areas of lava. There's quite a few there. Another thing you could use uh, hypersonic or supersonic to get across. Uh, but I am not going to do that. No, I'm not. There's also these giant... This giant monster thing. This giant... No, this giant mech, which honestly gets destroyed in the thing. Which is weird. It actually becomes a boss in Sonic Mania. Yeah, apparently um, they did decide to use that as a boss. Anyway, Spin Dash up here. These pulleys are powered by Sonic Spin Dash. Yeah, seriously. Something that is later mirrored in another stage again in Sonic 3D Blast. Um, and also the Toonie version, but that's a fan game. Uh, so, yeah. And also over here to the right is also where one of the last um, giant rings is. I know this one well. Uh, but there you go, so I can easily get a f uh, about 70 rings. Do I want to use, um... Uh, oh, yes I do! Uh, I squeeze by there. And here, this is where Hypersonic's jump really comes in handy, seriously. Although not trying to reach that switch and everything, but... Certainly getting through here, yeah. Seriously. And I wish I actually had a um, electric shield here. Just seeing. Uh, but never mind. It is what it is. And I don't really need with Hypersonic the uh, that shield, seriously. I would rather the. Why am I doing not getting the um, electric shield, seriously? I want that. Yeah, and I'm trying not to jump too high here. Seriously, I'm not. Uh, if I did that, then yeah. By the way, these enemies that spew the toxic gas called Toxymeisters, I absolutely hate them. Uh, um, they drain your rings, kind of like the Chomp Juniors, or Chopper Juniors, I don't know, or Jaws Juniors, I'm not sure, but yeah. And that does apply to when you're uh, hypersonic. And this is a cheap-ass area, seriously. You can easily get crushed by those uh, things. But, um, yeah, I, I do like the, how colorful Hypersonic is, even if it could well be seizure inducing, I don't know. I don't know what it was like, I, well, I might have done back in the 90s, but I don't know. Let's go through here and destroy the thing, I guess. Uh, they also, um, the toxic gas from the Toximeisters actually slows down Sonic's speed. And momentum, which is not great. Um, with this boss, with Hypersonic, it's a joke again. Seriously, the high, the, the high jump destroys the tentacles and the giant hand that comes out from the ground. And it just stay still and have, uh, um, it basically get destroyed by Hypersonic. With regular Sonic, I would need to use uh, the Insta Shield and everything, especially with the fireballs. And... The easy thing for this boss is just to use the spin dash, even with normal Sonic, but actually I'm not sure about normal Sonic, it might um, hurt actually, but never mind. On the next episode, we will actually go to Act 2 and the Hidden Palace Zone, so yeah, uh, but I will see you then, goodbye!